Ladies and Griswolds, yes, so we have got the Gibson Les Paul Tribute. This is from 2021 and it's roughly, you know, there or thereabouts, one year old. Uh, so, let's have a listen, see what it does, and then I shall talk you through it. Let's go. Up time and starting with as we do the uh, noisy channel and starting with the bridge pickup. <laughs> to the neck. Really, really fabulous. Very, very sweet. We'll have a talk about those in a second. Okay, let's listen to one clean first. And starting with the bridge end. Yeah, 
it does, it does for ages. Mm. Sure, uh, into the centre. <laughs> You know, as I've said on many occasions, I think that this is going to be over really quite quickly. So sorry about that. But there's but there's absolutely no surprises with this at all. It really is just a, a very very regular, straightforward um, Gibson studio construction kind of. You know, um, we'll go stem to stern. So this, as you can see by the serial number here, uh, was. The three, what was it? The three hundred and the three hundred and forty third day of the year last year. So so you know about the was it twentieth or nineteenth some, something like that of December last year. And it and it's untouched. I've had a good old look round this, and I can't I cannot see a mark on it. I think that probably it's a what I would like to call a COVID special. And we've got what? Uh, what are they? Are they get, yeah. So we've got uh, Gibson Deluxe Cluson style tuners with, they, they're kind of ivory keys, aren't they? The uh, little tulips there. Um, it, yeah, and, the, and again, there are, you can see uh, the wings tacked onto the side here, which is, again, great evidence that you do have a proper Gibson, but of course this one comes with the premium soft case, and they're so much nicer, those soft cases. We'll have a look at that in a second. Um, than the bags that you used to get. Uh, although, you know, nothing wrong with the bags in particular, but the new premium soft cases do have a neck support in them, which is a brilliant thing. So, yes, it's a maple neck and not uh, mahogany. But, of course, Les Pauls have been made with maple and mahogany uh, alternately, variably, over the years, from time to time. And it is topped with a rosewood fretboard. Uh, you've got your silk screen logo on the top there and it tells you that it is in fact a tribute. Uh, the neck it's just a just a rounded C profile that's not going to offend anybody one way or another. It's not a 60s slim taper and it's not a 50s baseball bat. It's lovely, great, great, great to play and it is and it is smooth. It is silky, silky smooth. And then moving on to the oh yes uh, Rosewood fretboard with acrylic trapezoid inlays look so you know it just it looks like well they call this color honey burst i think that they look a bit like a gun top to be fair but really uh, but of course it's a thin nitro cellulose satin finish which should age beautifully and you can in fact see where the maple cap has gone on to the mahogany body which is made from mahogany You've got your regular cavity control plates there, uh, one for your toggle switch and one for your pots and what have you. And you've got a cream coloured uh, poker chip there on your toggle switch and a matching cream coloured scratch plate with cream coloured uh, pickup mounting rings. It's a regular Nashville. Mm, something's happening on eBay. It's a regular Nashville uh, ABR one bridge with a stop down. So yeah, just absolutely no surprises at all. It is a, a very, very standard, normal uh, Gibson construction. And, uh, and it plays beautifully as they rather tend to. And this is the first one of these that I've had through the door. And I, just, and I absolutely adore it. And, uh, you know, you can see all that lovely grain from the... Uh, I mean, I don't suppose that it's what they call a triple-A maple cap, but it, but it's jolly nice all the same. And, and and I do like the burst around it. And it, is, and it is a proper burst, isn't it? It's not just a perimeter burst. It's, you know, uh, dark here, so it leaves that lighter uh, pear drop shape there in the centre. A bit... I think that what we've come to know now is Adam Jones style, really. Oh yes, and to top it off, we've got the uh, gold top hat uh, knobs there. And 
there's no push pull stuff. Uh, the, you'll see some numbers back here, but the pickups are 490 uh, in the neck and 490 in the bridge as well. So 490R, 490 490T, and they're popping out at late sevens, which is what they do. That is exactly what I would expect with about 3.8 in the centre. So that's it, really. Oh, do you want to have a look at the case? Have a look at the case. So whereas the uh, whereas the old uh, fashioned cases, the old style cases, were really just a just a bag and the, they accommodate sort of most things really. These nice uh, premium, we've seen these before, haven't we? These nice cases, they've got what I like about these. They've got a, a proper neck rest here, so much better for transport uh, with a nice Velcro thing to uh, stop it from wiggling about or branded. So that's it from me and little, and I'm so happy. This is the, like I said, it's the first one of these that I have had through, and I'm so happy that I played it. It's just a, it's a Gibson studio, and they're lovely. Get one bought. They're not expensive. All right. Thanks all ever so much for tuning, in, and I'll see you soon, folks. Take care. Adios, amigos. Ta-ra.